game on Monday. How will that momentum carry into the weekend series at Georgia? Well, I thought it was awesome. The, the crowds were great all weekend. I know we had to do the doubleheader on Saturday, but it was the largest crowd in Division One softball this season. So it was incredible to see. And the most disappointing thing for me is to, you know, the crowd goes home without a win. But they came out full force, came out, came out again Monday. Uh, Osorio was awesome. And I was just telling the, the print writers, to do that against a very experienced team who's seen her for four years, they have several seniors, they have a lot of juniors to throw a one hitter on the third game of the series. You just don't do that. You know, they've made adjustments, they've made adjustments, and they've seen her for four years. So um, that one hitter was very impressive. And, and a, the kid that got the hit was a pinch hitter. So she threw, I think, a, she gave up three hits in two games and um, against a really good offensive team. So really happy with her and then I thought we had some really good two out RBIs Caroline Hardy uh, from City Booker's triple just and people in different positions Mary Schroeder had to hit the three spot but Bailey still hurt Caroline was in the four spot you know they've really rolled with the punches and I'm really proud of them for that what challenges will Georgia bring from this weekend season? well playing at home they uh, they have metal bleachers they have a nice stadium but the they they can stomp the bleachers <laughs> and it's really loud. Uh, and it seems like every time we go over there, they have a record crowd. So we love to play in front of fans and uh, whether they cheer for or against us. Um, it's a good atmosphere. Um, they have speed, they have some pop. They have one of the best hitters in the, in the league this year. She's doing a great job. She's the shortstop, Alyssa DiCarlo. So we got to watch for her. It's kind of like their version of Megan Gregg from, the, from Tennessee. Just a really, really good hitter. Um, and then they have five to six pitchers on their staff. So we have to make adjustments quick. If we are lucky enough to knock a kid out, they're going to come in with somebody different. we got to make adjustments quick. What's the game plan going into this weekend? Well, we need to get good starts from whoever starts on the mound. Uh, Lexi gave us two this weekend. Um, we need to play really good team defense. I thought Monday night, I mean, I had so many text messages after the game. I was like, that's, that's Alabama, you know. Um, just a lot of people that are really excited for us. Hopefully we turn the corner, um, but play really good defense. And then this, the third thing that we did Monday night as well was get that key hit with two outs. You know, it doesn't seem like it was that big of a deal. You know, like Gabby pinch hit, hit a sack fly. I mean, that, that's huge. That gave us the fourth run. That was a good cushion. Um, so we just had really good at-bats throughout the game. You know, with the, with the crowd like you had on Saturday night, does that just give your team all the confidence in the world? To go yeah, I, I, you know, I, we kept telling them in the huddle, you know, they're ready to explode. They're ready to just get after it. But we just, you know, we were 0 for 6 with runners in scoring position. And I really think if it, just one kid would have just gotten a Texas leaguer, the crowd just would have went bonkers. And, you know, that's a lot of pressure on somebody. But you keep throwing zeros up there, and then it's like the crowd gets a little quieter. And, you know, so... Um, but no, they're the best fans in college softball, and we love them. Definitely. Another big SEC series on the road. Uh, certainly pitching is going to be a key against a really good offense uh, like Georgia has. Uh, but, this, but just for your offense, describe what do you think your offense needs to do to kind of support your pitching this weekend? Well, it's a kid that we haven't seen. They're, they're number one. Um, their number one actually had gotten hurt, and this kid has taken over. So we haven't seen her. She's a sophomore. So we need to... Uh, pay attention to all the film that we have on her. They have a lefty pitcher, so again, we have to make adjustments quick. Whoever they, whoever they start, you never know. Um, and then, um, just put the ball in play. You know, it's a, a little bit smaller field. Uh, I think it's 190 down the lines, so we get something up in the air, and uh, you know, it's like playing at Colorado Rockies with the air, and it just seems like the ball goes. And hopefully, we'll be hitting more home runs than them. And then just kind of generally speaking, I know you still have two more weekends of SEC play, the SEC tournament to go, but just uh, as far as that regional discussion of hosting a regional, uh, how do you feel about your team's chances, at least at this point, to be able to get one of those 16 host spots? Well, I think we, we definitely need to win both series that are left. We can't lose either one. Um, you know, we're right on the bubble. I think we're 17 RPI, and that, that was without the win Monday night. But... Um, you know, there's a lot of teams in our position and everybody's fighting for a spot, but we just need to take care of our business and I think probably win both series. When there's a performance like Osorio had on, on Monday night, does that just give your hitters, you know, does that make them feel comfortable? Does oh yeah, I think it's, them up? you know, when we're on defense, it's like, okay, she's gonna hold them, they're not gonna yeah. score tonight. I mean, that, that would give me, like, 
um, man, I just need to score one run for us. You know, whoever gets that first RBI, that, that kind of lets all the pressure off of everybody else. And then it's like, okay, let's just hit the ball. You know, but getting that first RBI, and it was early in the game, I believe. I think it was Caroline Hardy. Uh, early in the game, it just was like a, a lift off of everybody's shoulders. It, just, it was a big hit.